Welcome back to another video for Your Soul Evolution. My name is Erin and I help people to evolve spiritually and to awaken to new perspectives. Today I wanted to share with you five things that can help you to quit overthinking. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you can receive notifications as I do post videos daily. You can also get access to our extended videos, meditations, and receive life and self-development coaching by clicking the link below to join our monthly membership group. Number one. You can stop overthinking by simply observing. Try to remember that everything that happens in life, every situation is completely neutral until we give it the meaning of positive or negative. So for example, you're sitting at home one evening and you receive a text message completely out of the blue from your boss that says, I need to talk to you in the morning as soon as you arrive at work. Now, you could immediately start overthinking. You can get your stomach all in knots. You can lose an entire night of sleep worrying, or you could simply observe and allow the situation to play out. Keep in mind that it's neutral. If you know that you haven't done anything wrong, then try to keep in mind that we don't always have to put a negative spin on everything. It's not always the end of the world. It could be they want to give you a promotion or they want to compliment you on the good job you've been doing. But our ego usually wants to go to the negative side of things. So if we can control our ego mind and take that control and remember that everything's neutral, then we would be so much better off and it would eliminate a lot of that overthinking. One thing that's important to also know, do not try to control your thoughts. The more you try to control your thoughts, the more you're gonna create because you create a resistance. So if you have some thoughts that come into your mind, just observe them and let them pass. Do not try to control them in any way because you will just create more negative thoughts. Number two, be aware of how you're labeling yourself. Do you always label yourself as someone who is always overthinking, somebody that is overly dramatic or a drama queen? If you have accepted this as part of who you are, become aware of that and start to change how you are labeling yourself. Tell yourself that you are calm, you're collected, that you make calm and rational decisions, and you do not have to continue to accept the label of a person who constantly overthinks and overreacts. Realize that overthinking is just a habit and it can be repatterned at any time. It's no different from biting your fingernails or anything else that we perceive to be a bad habit. As you become aware that it's a habit, if you continue to do it, then it becomes a choice. Once you realize it's a choice, then you have the power to really change it. The power is in the choosing. Another helpful thing that you can do when you're overthinking is to pause for a moment and bring the awareness back into your body. Get out of your head for a few minutes and into your body. What I mean by this is stop, take some deep breaths, bring an awareness to another part of your body. It doesn't matter where you put the awareness, it's just the intention of coming out of your head and to bring an awareness into your body. For example, you can start to set the intention to bring awareness into your index finger. So just take some deep breaths and focus on feeling the sensation around your finger. This will just help you get out of your head, out of your thoughts, and back present to the it's moment. It's very hard to be in your head and in your body at the Number same time. Five, become aware that the overthinking could be stopping you from attracting what you really want. For example, if you put in an application for this job that you really want, and then you stop, start thinking of all these scenarios in your head where if you don't get the job this, or what if this happens and you don't get the job, 
you are sending those signals out into the universe and therefore blocking it from being able to come to you. You are not allowing it to align to you. Instead, see yourself at the end result. See yourself getting that job. See yourself at your new desk. See yourself with your new coworkers. See yourself on your morning drive, driving up to that new workplace. If you're gonna overthink in this area, make sure it's positive. I hope you find these five things valuable. If you know someone who might benefit from this video, please share it. If you would like the access to our extended videos and to join our monthly membership group, then please click the link at the bottom to do so. Other than that, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.